Okay, so there's there's a part of it. Okay, so the members of the House of Representatives, representatives should be elected every two years. Uh, a representative must be at least 25 years old. What have you got to go ahead and tell us? I've got a question. Oh. Explain that to me. Who shall not, when elected, be an inhabitant of that state? Uh, it's just like what we're reading right there. They rechanged it. Okay, you're in Sec 2 3. 2 3, a representative must at least be 25, but shall not. That, oh, age of 18. Representative shall. Okay, where are we at? I'm, you find us for Article 1. Okay, that's Section 2. Section 2 is one. Article 1, Section 2. The members of the House of Representatives. The House of Representatives shall be composed of members chosen. Okay. No person shall be represented who shall not have attained the age of 25. Yeah, that's it right there. And uh, and been seven years a citizen of the United States who shall not have, when elected, be inhabitants of that state in which he's lived. And that's what it's saying. They should be an inhabitant of the state in which they live. It's not. Yeah, and who shall not, when elected, be an inhabitant of, others, of that state in which they shall be chosen. And they corrected that. To, to say the correct translation of it is, who shall be a resident of that state. So okay. that's kind of old English, and that's the reason why they rewrote it in this, this corrected translation of it. Okay. It's so hard to read that old Constitution and keep up with the amendments and keep up what was affected and what affected it, and that's the reason why I'm reading from this one that, uh, that I've got laying over here on the table. And it's already been corrected. It's taken all those things out. And... Uh, if tonight, if y'all will, I tell you, the best nine bucks you'll spend is to order one of these little books because it's going to be well worth it, I promise you. It has all the corrections made in the Constitution already. So uh, y'all tell me tonight and, uh, and, and let me know, and I can order them. Now, you can order them on your own. You don't have to worry about it. I paid eleven ninety five for mine, but we can order them for, for around eight something with tax and shipping. You're looking at about nine bucks, give or take a few cents in there. Okay, uh, okay, now, so we passed over that one. We got that one. Okay, the number of representatives, we got about, we talked about Indians and uh, judges, legislatures. Any, if any state prevents or hinders an eligible person from voting, and if I'm 18 years old, who could stop me from voting? Nobody. What if I'm 17 months, uh, 17 years, 11 months, and uh, 22 days, and I like five days from my birthday? Can I vote? No. No. Mm -mm. I've got to be 18 to vote. Okay. Okay, that's, are y'all, okay, y'all following your little guide? Okay, make your notes there. Okay, now, uh, section two, verse uh, point four, the actual census must be taken within three years after the first meeting of Congress of the United States. This goes way back to then, okay? And every 10 years after that, Congress will be determined by law how the census will be taken. So they didn't have 10 years to base their census on, so they started off and said, okay, after three years, you're going to have to start being accountable. And then after 10 years, we'll start doing the census right. So we're just getting started. So each state will have at least one representative, but otherwise not more than one for each 30,000 people. Until the first census be taken, the number of representatives from each state will be, will, will be so much. New Hampshire had three. Massachusetts had eight. Rhode Island had one. Connecticut had five. New York, six. New Jersey, four. Pennsylvania, eight. Delaware, one. Maryland, six. Virginia 10, North Carolina 5, South Carolina 5, and Georgia 3. Now, they changed that a little bit, haven't they? But this was still good because at that time it said, we are going to uh, make, a re make allowances because for every 30,000 people we have right now, we're going to take census. There you're going to see where to be determined by the House of Representatives. Okay, 125, when any representative does not finish his or her term, the governor from his or her state must set a special election to fill the remainder of the term. Okay, now, if, uh, if I'm congressman and uh, I get sick and I resign from Congress and I've still got a year left, my governor's going to appoint someone to take my place, isn't he? He might try. The Constitution won't let him, though. The Constitution says you've got to have an election. Okay? Now, in, uh, in the Senate now, I know this that because uh, I checked it out because I thought maybe the Lord wanted me to run for the Senate. In the Senate, if it's, uh, and I'll have, you'll have to give me a little leeway on this because either, even your odd year, if you are out of the Senate, get sick, die, or something, either, even your odd year, one of them, the governor appoints a replacement, the other year, this has to be elected. It's 
Kind of interesting, isn't it? Because remember, Senate served six years. Okay? Now, so when a representative does not finish his or her, the Constitution says they must fill the remainder of that term and there must be a special appointment by the governor. No. An election. An election. Can't be a special appointment by the governor according to the Constitution. Okay? It's kind of interesting, isn't it? Point six. The House of Representatives will choose their speaker and other officers and will have the exclusive power of being in charge of impeachments. Now, interesting, isn't it? If the uh, president's going to get impeached, what has to happen? Congress has to have the votes to indict him. The Senate has to have the votes to try him. The Congress can indict him and get him to the, con to the Senate. The Senate has to have enough votes to to uh, actually impose sentence upon him. So the House of Representatives sort of like indicts and the Senate prosecutes. Interesting, isn't it? Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Now, how many members of Congress do we have today? It's going to change. But four, right. And we got four new ones in the state of Texas. So, uh, now, the thing is, did we lose them some of the other states? I'm not sure yet. So we'll have to, we'll, we'll have a count later if we still have 435 or 439. Okay? And how often is a representative elected? Every 10 years. And he should be reelected anytime he wants to, and he allows to stay in Congress for a lifetime appointment. I didn't say that, did I? Because it's not true. Because he's only elected for two years, and every two years there's a reelection. And every two years, that's it. So we have every two years, we can dump that our representative if he's not doing right. We got congressmen who have been up there 20 and 30 and 40 and 50 years and senators who have not upheld their constitutional vows, who have not kept their oath. Why are we still reelecting them? We don't know our constitution. They're there because we put them there. We have the power to take them out. We have the power to put them. We have the power to take them out. Not only do we have the power, we have the responsibility before an almighty God. Did you know that? Who do you think God's going to look at when he starts looking at these people in Congress? He's going to say, oh, John Cooper, down he didn't do nothing. Why weren't you doing your job? I was too ignorant. I didn't know what I was doing. So what I've done, I've come to him and said, God, I'm sorry. I'm going to do something about it now. I'm going to run for office. I'm available until you tell me to stop. Because you've already told me to do it. Till you tell me to stop, I'm not going to stop. It's going to be up to you to get me elected if you want me in there. So what are we going to do about it? We're going to repent, right? We're going to change directions. I'm not doing anything for my country. In 2008, God started working with me then. Now I'm trying to do something for my country. You know why? He's educated me on knowing what my rights are. And my rights are being violated because I willingly let our people go to Congress. I'm one of the people. We the people. You're one of we the people. I'm sorry, we put them up there. It's our responsibility to take them down. We probably got what we deserve. God may have, or God may have looked at that and said, well, he's put these people are doing. Look how, look how dumb they are and ignorant. Uh, they wouldn't put people like that in office. And these people are going to oppress them. Did he ever let that happen to the nation of Israel? Oh, my goodness. In the book of Jeremiah, God said to him, y'all might as well get ready to go and you just might as well make it easier on yourself. I'm going to send you into prison. And we're going to let uh, this Babylonian king come down here and he's just going to take you guys off. And you better go along peacefully. You know what they said? No, we don't. They rebelled. And God punished them for it. He said, you might as well take your spanking like a good boy. And they wouldn't do it. How many times has God got on to me? I, I can't count them. How many times has he got on to you? I, I can't count them. Can you? But what's all for our betterment. But anyway, if we're not going to if we're not going to uphold our responsibilities, how can we expect those people up in office to respect our wishes? If they what should we do this next election? We better make our will known, hadn't we? Otherwise we'll be an unknown and we'll be sitting out here counting our fingers and counting what little money we got if we have any left over out of each paycheck. And we'll be to the worst for it. And God may be, may, may be saying to us, listen, you guys, you better get ready. You violated. 
And not only that, our nation has turned away from Israel. What do you think is going to happen to a nation that turns against Israel? That's right. God puts thumbs down on them. It says any nation, he, he comes against that nation when they don't when they don't support Israel. Well, anyway, that's a bunch of things. So we choose the House Speaker. Congress chooses their own Speaker of the House. Uh, the, I guess the Speaker of the House can do like Strauss did. We had a testimony here from a lady who said Strauss, everybody voted for him to be the Speaker of the House. He paid their campaign funds. Wasn't that nice of him? Do you call that bribery? Is that what you call it? Has anybody impeached him or brought him up on bribery charges yet? No. Not a soul. Our president got up, stands in front of us and lies to us every time he opens his mouth. Has anybody indicted him yet? Has Congress said anything about it? Our president goes and does what he wants to. What does our Congress do? They sit on their thumbs. Right? Why? Because we, yeah, because we are the people. We have the power to put them. We have the power to take them out. They're there because we let them be there. We take them out, they're gone. It's about time we stood up and acted like a citizen, don't you think? Amen. I think it is too. Okay, section three. We look at section three. The Senate of the United States will consist of two senators from each state elected by the people and of that state for six years and each senator shall have one vote. Each state has a standard to use who decides who, allow, who, who is allowed to vote for its own state legislature and so the same standard you elect everyone else in your state, that's the same standard you use for your senator. And it must be to determine who is allowed to vote for members of the Senate. And this is from Amendment 17. One. The 17th Amendment changed this, but this has been corrected to reflect what the 17th Amendment did, okay? When we read the 17th Amendment, we'll read the correction of it after this has been done. That's the, that is the good thing about this little book right there. That's the good thing about it, because he's already done all that. He's done all the work for us. Okay, so then uh, for each state, so then the same standard. Okay, 3-2, section 3. After the first election of senators, as soon as they meet for the first time, they will be divided into three groups. The first term uh, are of the first group will end in two years. The first term of the second group will end in four years. The first term of the third group will end in six years. And in, in, in this way, one-third of the Senate shall be elected every two years. Is that happening today? Thank the Lord. We're at least doing one thing when the Constitution says, aren't we? We're letting a step for six years. The problem is we've been re-elected them too many times. And we don't have proper representation up there. And then, uh, uh, Section 3, under the Senate, Point 3, when any senator does not finish his or her term, the governor from his or her state must set a special election to fill the remainder of that term. However, the legislature of that state may give the governor power to make a temporary appointment that will only last until that position is filled by the special election. Okay, remember what I said a while ago. The governor, ever if it's the odd year or the even year, the government can appoint someone. So if they have maybe less than a year or two left to fulfill it somewhere in there, then... But other than that, there has to be a special election. So the governor has the right to appoint someone temporarily as long as there's not a long term left on the term. So that's kind of interesting. And so right now, I'd say we're pretty much with the Constitution on that, wouldn't you? We're pretty much following that. Okay, uh, Section 3.4. A senator must be at least 30 years old, a citizen of the United States for nine years at the time he or she is elected, the senator must be a resident of the state that elected him or her. Now this comes back to some more of that terminology in the old constitution now. Uh, that 3-4, have you got it there? Uh, yeah, what is 3-4? Look at the old Look at the old election. Look across the page there. It says the senator must be at least 30 years old. No, no, this one over here. The 1-3-4 over here in the original. Oh, this one? Yeah, that's the original on that side, yeah. 3-4. Okay. And just in the original Let's see, we're at the centers. Go to section three. Okay, that won't be there. Be on another page. That's all right. Okay, anyway. Anyway, if you read the old Constitution, you've got it in your, in your books right there. That's the old Constitution. What, what does it say there, Rick? You're in that section? 
you're under uh, under Senate and uh, was section three under Senate, section three point two. It says, uh, uh, okay, when a senator does not finish his term, the legislature of that state may give the governor power. What about three two? Anyway, in the old in the old section of it, the wording is different. It's the King James wording, and I read the correction of the wording to it. Okay.